Hi, my name is Lucas Smith. I'm a professional Scrum trainer through Scrum.org. I work for Skyline Technologies. Uh, we're a Microsoft partner and a software development company in the Wisconsin area. Um, what I want to talk to you today about is just a quick measure of how effective your organization is uh, with regard to development and with regard to their dollars spent. Okay, so imagine you have $100 that you're gonna spend on your product or on feature development. Um, there's a couple areas we look at. First one is something we call innovation rate, okay? So of every $100 you spend, how many of them are being spent on maintenance, bug fixes, um, cost of life, right? Are you doing um, maintenance on your servers? How much are you paying for backend? So it's sort of like a total cost of ownership for your product over the amount of um, money you're spending on new features. So say you spend $35 on new features and about $65 on maintaining bug fixes, et cetera. This is kind of typical with what we see in organizations. So we'll put about a three, five here, okay? So then the next one would be a usage rate. So for every feature you add or in your product, what percentage of users are actually using it? How effective are you identifying what they need? Uh, the research shows that about only about 30% of features, 30, 35% of features are actually used by the end user. So you do another 30 there, 35. And then I like to think about your teams. How many projects is each person working on simultaneously? Right? If you're working on one, they're pretty dedicated to that. If you've got two projects ongoing at a time, you're usually losing about 20% to the context switching. Most teams we work with have about three. Right? They're losing about 40% to the context switching. Uh, so that means you're only getting 60% through there. Okay? Then we look at the version index. So that's how many of your users are actually on your latest version of your product. Right? If you're working on a website or a web, uh, web interface, maybe that's pretty good. Maybe most of your users are on that. If you've got a bunch of old versions you're maintaining, maybe it's not as good. Uh, if you think about Windows or Internet Explorer or something like that, right? There's a lot of users still on old versions. So if you release something in your new version, how much value are your users actually getting out of that? So we'll just use for example here, we'll do a 0.8, okay? So all of these things are affecting your effectiveness. If you really look at this, for every $100 you put in, you start multiplying this through. In this example, you're about $5 for every 100 you put in. And unfortunately, this is actually very typical with what I see in organizations. So hopefully this gives you an idea of where to start, where to take a look at that you can actually start improving your effectiveness in the long run. Thank you.